biggest focuses this spring? Um, probably just getting getting the timing out on these new group of guys. You know, we had a lot of receivers last year that played for us, but even these young guys coming in, um, just kind of figuring out our identity, I guess, is a big part of uh, what we're doing this spring. What's the feeling of being QB number one now in spring? Um, it's good. A lot of expectations, you know. I have to hold myself to a really high standard every single day, so I'm not coming out of practice every day feeling great because, you know, I just have I know for us to get to where we need to go, you know, my level of play has to be really high because um, I think that's that's some point where last year we probably fell off a little bit was just maybe you know the offense with me a little bit and you know just defense was playing so well last year I think we left some change on the table but I think this spring has been a big focus on that though. How so, are you? If, in fact, you are building up your strength and your your whole right side, your throwing apparatus. Yeah, I'm great. Um, put about 10 pounds on after the last game, so I'm up to that now. I'm maintaining that now and hope to make a good push in the summer. But Coach Wade does a phenomenal job, though. I feel great, though, right now. Sounds what? like there's a lot of competition there, too. What's it like having Zeb's another year older and having him alongside you to kind of push each other, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I think we have a really talented quarterback room. Um, Zeb's going to continue to grow. You know, he's, he's going to be a great guy for this program going forward. Uh, Real coming in early has been great. I, th I just think that, um, you know, the past two years I've been here, our quarterback, we just haven't had great numbers. And now we're going to get to that point with, uh, with Brock coming in in the, in the summer. We'll, we'll have a great room to develop. And uh, really it's on me to take all those guys under my wing, though. Zeb's part of that, too, because he's an older guy. But we have to develop as a unit to be successful. And Zeb's kind of like mentor. Where have you kind of seen him make the most strides so far? I mean, I, I'm I'm proud of him every day. Just he's come, he's come so far. Um, just when he first came here, me and him both came at the same time. Uh, so we've been really close ever since then. Just I think maybe more of the mental side, his decision making. You know, he has every physical ability, but you can see him out there learning every single day, and his accuracy has improved greatly too. I mean, the kid's got a bright future ahead of him. You mentioned the expectations. You a guy that welcomes and relishes those expectations. Yeah, it's part of the position. Um, you know, if we're gonna flip this program and not and not just let last year be a, a fluke year per se, you know, I have to be able to play those high expectations. But it's part of the job. I mean, to be one of the best teams in the Big Twelve, you have to have high level quarterback play. Yeah. What's it been like with Coach um, Jordan leading the run? It's been great. Um, you know, we've had a relationship the past year because he's been a quality control, so it was a smooth transition. But he's done a great job, and uh, we're all really happy to have him on board. You went five or three as a starter, but you seem to still be a hard critique mm -hmm. of yourself. Where, when you go back and watch your starts this offseason, where do you critique yourself the hardest? Uh, probably some of my footwork, maybe in, in some of those critical situations, really cost us. You know, I've really harped on myself. Um, with the big play opportunities. Uh, I, I didn't think I took advantage of that well enough. Um, you know, I think just getting back to some of the fundamentals really help us, getting us back to what kind of team we're going to be this year. We're going to be a team that's running the ball, play action. We're going to be a team that's throwing the ball 40, 50 times a game. Um, we don't know yet, and that's part of what spring is. But for me, you know, I'll, I'll take, I'll think about those three losses more than the five wins because, you know, that's how we change the script around here is how do we use a, what we messed up in critical situations and we flipped that because um, really, Coach Cameron talks about all the time. We were, we were 40 points away from either being undefeated or five and eight, or really five and seven. Are you? Have you always been hard on yourself, or is it something yeah, that's grown? Yeah, that's that's something probably to a fault to where my parents have to just be like, you need to relax a little bit. You're being a little <laughs> too hard on yourself. But I would rather play that way than be lackadaisical with it. You know, if if I'm out there striving to be perfect, then you know if I fall a smidge below that, then that's pretty good.